What's up everyone, it's Prometheus, and today we are talking about the Duomo the 8th. Now it's a distribution tool, and I know I've done a lot of these lately, so after this one, I'm going to take a break from these for a bit, I promise, pinky swear. But after trying out quite a few heavy hitters in this market, this spiky little tool came highly requested and recommended. So thanks to a local espresso lover like myself, I was able to get this tool on my bar relatively quickly without actually buying one, and being able to bring you this review and fulfill those requests. Of course, like many of the tools I've tried in the past, I looked up some reviews and they generally seem to be pretty positive and if I dare say glowing in some respects, one review even called it the pinnacle of espresso distribution. Now that's a pretty tall claim to, to try and land, but we're going to, to do our best to check this one out and really see if it lives up to that claim. But of course that comes from a company that's also selling the tool, so you have to take that with a grain of salt. So I think the best way of putting the Duomo the 8th through its paces is by going through the same battery of tests and kind of introduction to the tool that I've done in the past. So in this video, we're going to go over a basic tour of the tool itself, its design, function, workflow, and of course, we're going to talk extraction. So without any further ado, let's jump straight in. Straight out of the gate, you can see there's something just a bit different about the Duomo. Its shape is somewhat reminiscent of a dome on a classical Duomo, which is Italian for church. But I'm not sure if that's on purpose, as I can't really find any info on the design outside of ergonomics and comfort of use. The Duomo comes in two major pieces, the base and the tool itself. The base is made of a rubberized plastic that contains a circular nest of bristles that are intended to clean the needles between uses. On the underside, you'll notice eight needles that can be adjusted in depth to accommodate your preference in basket size. The tool itself is aluminum and has a nice, well-machined feel and heft. It is one piece, but it does separate in the center to allow the needles to lift up and be protected by the dome itself. And when it's lifted up, it locks in gently by a magnet. The first thing you'll want to do when you get to Duomo is set the needle depth for your particular basket. Ideally, you want them as deep as possible without scraping, so this may take a little trial and error, but just be gentle as you do it to avoid as much needle contact as possible. As much of a hassle as this might be to do, if you're like me and only use one size of baskets 99% of the time, this is one of those things you can do and kind of set it and forget it. To adjust the depth, just loosen up the top screw enough to allow the upper portion of the tool to spin freely while holding the stem. You'll see it goes up and down, so once you find the perfect point, just tighten it down and you're ready to roll. Unlike many of the other tools on the market, the Duomo functions kind of like a two for one. For example, the OCD tool gently fills in gaps in the bed while leveling the surface. And the ESP cup breaks up clumps and creates an even texture to the grinds. But the Duomo the 8 basically does both by using the needles to break down clumps and fluff the grinds, which is known as a Weiss distribution technique while simultaneously spinning, that evens out the bed itself. It's recommended to use a controlled speed, but they don't really say specifically what that means, but they recommend spinning it between three and five rotations. But all of that's up to you. You'll know if you went too fast and you remove the tool and there's a weird ring around the edge of the portafilter basket. Instead, when you move it slowly, it should look something like this. The needles are placed in what appears to be a slightly offset position to ensure that as much of the grinds as possible are combed through. The end result isn't that smooth, flat surface you'll get from the OCD tool, but it's far better than what you're left with after using the ESP cup, as you don't need to do much, if any work, to prepare it for tamping. And unlike most distribution tools, the amount of grinds stuck in it or on it seems to be almost nothing. There appears to be a light dusting on the needles themselves, but nothing that would be even readable on my scale. One thing to be aware of is these needles are also pretty fragile and prone to breaking and bending. So when out of use or even just merely moving it from your base to your portafilter, try to keep it locked in the upper position to avoid any accidental taps or snaps. But the good news is the needle portion is actually sold separately, so you can replace that part if you find yourself in that unfortunate position. As I've mentioned before, I think workflow is pretty important, but it also depends on where you're using it. At home, you're probably not quite as crushed for time as you are in a cafe or something like that, but I do think that this is a fun test to do. And for those who are interested, I am gonna put it up against the winner of last time's workflow contest, the OCD tool, just to see who comes out on top.
As you can see, their workflows are relatively similar, but the Duomo still ended up taking a bit longer, although it was a relatively small amount of time, roughly three seconds or so. I know it's completely unoriginal, but I do love a clean and stripey bottomless extraction. But outside of the beauty, it is an important thing to see so you can determine if there's any issues with the puck preparation. So in this case, I'm going to put the ESP cup up against the Duomo. In a previous video, the ESP cup came out on top with some beautiful extractions. And I've been using this tool ever since, even though it adds some extra time to my preparation. But the question is, can the Duomo knock it off its pedestal? Side by side, you can see there are some differences. The S cup starts in the center while the Duomo starts on the sides. Plus, the S cup seems to run a bit faster, which pushes it to a single stream a little quicker. Overall though, they seem to both run very cleanly. When comparing how the shots actually taste, there's also just a slight difference. The S cup shot was significantly brighter and sweeter, but that intensity muddled out a bit of the complexity in the coffee itself. The Duomo had slightly less brightness, but much more texture, which served to somewhat balance out the shot overall. And of course, I couldn't go through this whole video without actually testing some extractions. For what they actually show, it's kind of up to you, but here's what I found. After pulling five shots with each tool, using the same coffee, grind, and recipe, I found the ESP cup performed a bit better overall, with a higher extraction percentage shot to shot. But with it being roughly 1% higher, I can't really say definitively that one or the other will always make better espresso, and higher extraction isn't mutually exclusive to better taste. But in this small snapshot sample, the ESP cup appears to be slightly better at creating an even grind texture and flow throughout the puck. In the end, I have to say that even though the Duomo looks like your coffee's worst nightmare, it was a pleasure to use and worked as advertised, so what more can you ask from pretty much any product? And I do think it deserves the coveted and loosely defined title of distribution tool. As opposed to others which may level or break up clumps, this one does it all and does it pretty well. Of course, it isn't without its flaws, but what tool isn't? Mainly, it's pretty expensive. At $220, it would be the most expensive tool on my bar that isn't mechanical or electronic. Its needles, which are key to the tool working properly, are pretty fragile, and the whole piece itself needs to be handled with quite a bit of care. So early morning, half awake, and haphazard espresso preparation is strongly discouraged. Of course, there will always be those who don't see the value in a tool like this, and I can already see the comment section blowing up with people saying, you can do this exact same thing with a 25 cent paperclip. But since consistency is the peak of what a barista aims for, and time is irreplaceable, I don't see the harm in investing some cash if it's in your budget, so you can spend more time drinking consistently better espresso, and less time sweating over the details. In the end though, if I didn't already have a collection of distribution tools and I had to choose one moving forward, the Duomo would be on the top of my list, purely for the simplicity of use and overall functionality. But with that said, I think it's time to wrap this one up, and this is when I usually ask for other recommendations of other tools to test, but like I said in the beginning, let's pump the brakes on the distribution for a bit, I'm kind of getting burnt out on it, and let's do something else. But of course, I do want to hear your comments on this video, on the tool itself, what are your thoughts on the Duomo, let me know all that stuff down below, along with any other comments, concerns, or questions that are hopefully coffee related, and as always, I'll see y'all next week. And of course, a big thank you to my December Patreons, Ads, James B, Jacob P, David W, Christopher, John K, Squeegee, Roe, Brian, Lisa, Obo, Andre, Rick Racer, Sean, Noel, Spookus, Bound Coffee, Mika, Samantha, Claire, Steven, James K, Josh, Andrew, Horison, Corey C, Curry, Jeff Roth, Joey N, Thomas B, Ninja Warrior Coffee, Testing123, Jason C, Jerry, R, D, Tim, Matt, Tony, Zachary V, Tyler F, UK Espresso, Robert Underdunk, Jeffrey R, BJK Cafe, Chris M, Daniel P, Mike B, James S, Brian M, Brandon B, Tyler M, and Sebastian. And of course, a big thank you to the barista and barback tiers. If you want any information on my Patreon, there's a link in the description and in the upper right hand corner right now. And of course, a big thank you to you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Follow my Instagram at Spermetheus for content throughout the week. My blog at Spermetheus.com. My coffee at LittleGiant.coffee. And as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.